I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today. We had the work Christmas party yesterday and things got pretty out of hand. But I thought I'd pull myself together and make a video for you guys today. And the first thing that I wanted to cover off is actually what happened with the zero to $1,000 third and final video. The issue is that I wasn't actually able to sell anything over days four, five, six, and seven. Everything that I invested my money into just sat. And I just, I felt like there just wasn't enough content to make a good, compelling video. So I wanted to update you guys on that in this video today. I still had made $400. That was the most that I'd got up to, 400 bucks. And I did give it away, as I'd promised. If I wasn't to make $1,000 in that challenge, I was to give it away to random people dressed as the Monopoly Man. And I did. I dressed up as a Monopoly Man. I went down to the beach and I was going to hand it out to, to strangers. But when I got down there, I realized that my, my receiver on my microphone um, was dead. It didn't work. And audio was the most important aspect to that sort of a shot. So I realized that I couldn't do it while I was down there. Fortunately, I hadn't given any money away at that point. Uh, and then I also got a hundred dollar parking fine while I was down there as well. Uh, so this has been a bit of a nightmare. Um, as you can see there, I have a ticket on the car for a hundred bucks. The microphone for the Canon M50 camera that I've got uh, doesn't work. I'm dressed as Monopoly Man in 30 degree heat and I don't have any good audio to be able to record this finale clip. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. I look like an absolute twit out here in the middle of surface paradise. <laughs> so what do you think we do? So things just, everything just didn't go to plan. I, I couldn't flip anything. And then I also couldn't even give the money away when I wanted to. So I thought about it for a day or two post all of that taking place. And I decided to give it away to my thrift stores, my local stores that I've worked with over the last year that have really helped me out over the last 12 months. And I thought they were great people to give them to. You know the money's gonna go to the right place with those charities. I gave $200 to a Lifeline store and I gave two other $100 do donations as well to two of my local thrift stores. And um, that made me feel really good. It is the season of giving, Christmas is just around the corner and they were really appreciative of the, do of the donations. So I want to let you know that I did stick to my guns and I did give away that $400 that we're able to make, but I just wish that there was enough content there to be able to make that third and final video. But it's just what happens and hopefully this update is enough for you guys to know at least what went on. But that then brings us to today. And I figured with only a week to go in 2022, we'd head out to the thrift stores and try and find some money that we can sell for a profit on eBay. Let's do what we do best. Uh, but while I go out there for that first thrift run, um, I do want to take you into the flea market and show you a few things that I picked up that are going to go on to sell pretty well. How much on these books? 45. 45 on them. So this was the first pickup of the day. This was a Smart Arts, uh, it was a Good Times Mambo shirt. It had a really nice back print as well. I've actually found this a couple of times before. So that was a really great grab for $20. I'll make a whole lot more than that. This Burning Spears is a really good surf brand here on the Gold Coast, uh, a local brand that sells well. Monarchy, seasons one to three, that goes for some pretty decent money. And this TV show as well, Dance Academy, they go for about $30 each, but the next allocation was really exciting. It was just down to its price. Oh mate, look at those ones there. Alrighty, so. What are we thinking? Yeah. Um, alrighty, so this one, man, I'll be looking at 50 for this one. 50, yeah. Um, I'll do 25 on this one. Uh-huh. Uh, I'll uh, do 40 on that. Uh-huh. Go 40 on that. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you that one for 25. Yep. And 20 on that one. So what are we looking at in total? Uh, let me get me. Uh, all of those. If you're looking at 190. Yep. Um, I'd be happy to give them to you for 180 or 170. 180, 170. Yeah. Um, all right. Let me have a bit of a, a sift through those. A little piece of me died when he said $50 for the first jersey. I love selling my jerseys on eBay, but unfortunately, $170. It worked out to $28 each. And really, after fees and postage, I would almost be breaking even on this allocation. There just wasn't enough profit in it. So that Mambo Smart Arts t-shirt or shirt was probably the best pickup of the day. It was a pretty tough market to buy at. A lot of those jerseys really too high priced uh, to be able to strike, but that shirt should be able to sell for about $100. I've actually sold it twice before. Um, so that was cool, a couple of goodies. 
but um, we're gonna go and do some thrifting now. And I've just arrived to the first spot. So let's see what we can grab. A long time since I've found thrift store shoes for two dollars, let alone hokers that are going to go and sell for you know, eighty to hundred bucks. So that was epic. We've got so many really good items to list up and sell now, and I'm feeling pretty good about things. I was in the thrift store actually, not so much perusing the shelves. I was working away on a Facebook Marketplace deal, which is only just around the corner, and we're going to go and pick it up. And this one should generate some pretty good profit. All right, let's hope this is as good as I think it is. Hey mate, how's things? That's all right. No, no, no stress, just around the corner. 100 bucks. Have a bit of fun with that, mate. Appreciate it, brother. <laughs> That's epic. Thanks, Thanks mate. See you later. So if you're just starting out with your flipping journey and you're trying to think of different categories to get into to try and sell, I think a really good one to find off Facebook Marketplace is video games and video game consoles. That's exactly what this bundle is here that I've been able to pick up. It was $120 listed. I've been able to uh, get the price down to hundred bucks, which is now gonna mean that I'm gonna make a fair bit of profit. Um, it's, it's, it's really good. Here it is here, we've got the console of the PlayStation 2 Slim. These ones here, just console alone, I've got all the cords, I've got a memory card, and I've got one single controller. Um, so I bought that, plus I've got nine games in this bundle as well. Now, it's a really good category to focus on because often a lot of times people will sell these things and they won't go through the maths of what the individual games are worth. And that's what I pay attention to when I'm looking at the listings. So this one here, the console, just with one controller and a memory card, all the cables that you need, that there is my $100 money back. These things go for $120 on eBay. And I've even sold quite a number of them in, in recent times myself. So I know that the money back of what I've just invested is done right there with that one there. And there'll be a quick sell through rate. But the best thing about this pickup here today is the fact that I've been able to get myself nine video games. And I wasn't sure based on the photos whether the condition would be good or not for these. Every single one of these discs are mint. I've just had a bit of a look through and they're all great. But also too, every single one of these games comes with their manual. And the manual just means that you can make a better listing on eBay and people are more likely to make the purchase. It's not the be all and end all, but I just really like to look to make sure that there are manuals every single one of these nine games has them. Now, these three games here, we've got Final Fantasy VIII there, or Final Fantasy X, I think it is, Final Fantasy X, um, The Sims busting out, and we've also got D-Unit um, Drift Racing, that one there. They all go for about 10 bucks. So I might actually go ahead and put them into that console bundle, and I might try and sell that for 130, maybe $140, considering I've got three games there with it. But this is where all the money lies here, guys. We've got some ripping games in the, uh, in the allotment, and like I said, all of them have got their manuals. So so I'll kick it off and I'll put some uh, comps up on the screen here. The first one, we've got Ultimate Alliance uh, Spider-Man uh, on the front cover there. That one goes for about $20, so that's not too bad here. We've got Rune Viking Warlord. That one there goes for about $20 as well, so there's $40. Uh, now we've got two SpongeBob SquarePants uh, games here as well. We've got Lights, Camera Pants. That one goes, I think, for about $15, um, so that's up to $55. And then we've got uh, the SpongeBob, SpongeBob SquarePants movie. That goes for about $20 as well. So that's $75 worth of games, but we've got two absolute bangers in the mix here. I actually didn't know when I was looking at the listing originally how much this one was actually worth, but it was an interesting game because I hadn't heard of it. It's called The Thing. There it is there, and it goes between $30 to $40. So we'll go ahead and account 35 bucks there. So that brings us up to $110. 
but then the best game of them all, the minute I saw it, I knew I had to go and make this pickup. We've got Simpsons Hit and Run on the PlayStation 2. The disc is fantastic, and the manual is in there as well. Now, this game can sell up to $80 to $100, but I'm gonna estimate this one to be worth about 70 bucks. So what that tells me is I've got about $180 worth of video games right here. Plus right there, I've got about $130 to $140. Um, so in total, we've got about $310 to $320 worth of value here with this Facebook Marketplace pickup. And we've only had to pay $100 to get our hands on it. So it's a really good category to kind of try and find hidden profit in the games. If you can work on a price to get your money back on the console, that's how I like to play it. I'm very excited to go and list these up this afternoon and hopefully we can get the console to sell and then we've just got these left over for the profit. Now, I've also had a few things sell over the last 24 hours as well that I wanted to take you through and well, they're right here. So I'll start things off with the worst thing that I've sold, which is this Simpsons uh, Treehouse of Horror comic book. I actually have probably netted a 50 cent loss on this because uh, it only sold for 10 bucks and uh, I bought it uh, a couple of weeks ago at the flea market. You may have remembered that one. Uh, I just paid a dollar for it. So it was a quick sale, but it didn't make me any profit. Uh, this one here as well, we've got the in-betweeners, the complete box set. Just how I like to do my DVDs, guys, you know that. Uh, we've got a $29 sale price on that one there. And uh, yeah, I can't even remember where I picked that one up, but it wouldn't have been for too much money. Some good profit in that. Uh, Call of Duty, um, look, that was a decent game. The Xbox One games actually still tick over for me. I don't do too bad on those. Uh, so that's a good game to be looking for. Call of Duty on any console uh, sells really well. Now this Mario Kart game on the 64, Mario Kart 64, sold uh, for $80, which was fantastic. Now, I only bought this a couple of days ago at a local pawn shop. I spent 50 bucks. So I'm gonna make about $15 profit, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you know you're gonna get your money back in just a couple of days, that's some really quick money, which I'm happy about. Uh, and then my big video game collection, guys. I hope you guys have caught that. Um, I think it was about $6,000 worth of video game purchase and uh, I only paid about a thousand bucks for it. This one here has gone on to sell Streets of Rage. We've got a pretty decent sale price on that one there. And these old school Sega Mega Drive games are definitely ones for you guys to be trying to find. Now, uh, that was what, five sales that have come through, a couple of hundred dollars worth of value there. So that's really cool. So all those games are now listed up and should go on to sell really well. So as you can see from this video, to sell on eBay, you can source from so many different ways. Flea markets, you can go out to the thrift stores and you can jump on Facebook Marketplace just as I have here. If you missed this video right here, it is the video game allotment that I'm speaking of. That was a huge purchase, over $6,000 worth. It was a ripping video. So if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. Appreciate you tuning into this one, guys. We'll see you soon.